Tandi has rushed in again and has chased Shongile and they're having a fight somewhere here. I just can't see where it is now. Oh no, it's so thick in here. I've lost them. They're racing after one another and into this thicket. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to catch up with them from this side. Try and certainly see. There's one leopard slinking away in front. And I checked Shongile when she came past us. Shongile had a very slight little bite mark on her tail, but that's it. Just at the base of her tail was a small little canine wound, but other than that, she's fine. She's got no damage to her hip or anything like that, but she and Tandi were somewhere here. I don't know where they've gone now. This is Hosanna that's here. I don't know where the other two have gone. He's facing behind me. So Hosanna is here. Here, growling in front here, Seb. They're somewhere yeah. here in front. Um, let's just go back and try and get around quickly. Just let's see if I can head this way. That's for Sana. Now the others I can hear growling. Not too far. Can I keep going back there? Now, it is concerning that every time Shongile turns to move away, T Tandi is running there. She's in the tree. She's in the tree. So she's gotten herself out of that mess and up into a tree, which is probably not a bad place to be at this stage. She can try and just stay up there. Now, hold on. We're going to try and get round. Oh, this is just too much for my nerves at this stage. There's Tandi, Hosanna, and there was a leopard up in the tree. There's Shungile. She's right up. Look. Look where she's gone. She's gotten right up into the tree. So she's way up there at the moment. Tandi down on the ground below and Hosanna to our left. So that's the three of them. I don't know if we did see Tamba. It looked like him. Maybe it was just an odd angle. Now Tandi's going after Hosanna. Hosanna's growling at her. So she's just gone behind that bush. That's where Tandi went. And little Shongile, well done, my girl. Up into the tree. Hide away up there. Eventually, Tandi will get tired of you. And you can then stay. It means that she's perfectly fine. If she can climb a tree to that height, then she's got no injuries to her legs. Like I say, you can see there's no injury to that back hip anywhere. Whew. Right, let's just reposition here. Same. We're going to try and just see if we can't get... Caitlin, who's 10 years old. Hello, Caitlin. Now, you want to know why these leopards are being naughty and fighting with each other. Well, Caitlin, the reason that they're fighting is because of territory. So what territory means, Caitlin, is that leopards have an area where there's food and water and places that they can stay nice and safe and look after themselves. And so when they're in places like that, then you have a situation that they have to protect it because they don't want other leopards to come and to eat all of their food and to take all of their water. Now, I've got to try and get my earpiece out again before I break another one. So I've stuck with an earpiece, a spotlight, a car. Now we're off there. So Seb's just helping me quickly. There we go. Now I'm going to try and move, but. Unfortunately, we've got, but it looks like Tandi there now. I don't know where Hosanna has gone. He was lying right here as well. In all of that, he's also moved off. And then Shongile is still up in the tree watching what's going on. So I'm just going to try and plug myself in again to the situation. And there we go now. There's Hosanna there. You see Hosanna's just behind the bush on the one side and Tandi on the other side. So you can just see his tail sticking out from behind that bush. But now that she's seen that it's a male, She's going to be far more 
wary of that. But Shongila is just watching up from up above. This is just too much right now. Shame. She's chuffing quite a bit up there. She's trying to just talk and get her way out of this, I think. But Tandy is not a happy girl either. She's very upset by what's going on at the moment. So, do you hear her chuffing sounds? Shame, my girl. Whew. My heart's beating at about a million miles an hour at this stage of the game. And really, I'm... Whew, I don't even know what else to say. It is... A little, you get a bit shaky when you watch these kind of things. It's, you know, a whole bunch of leopards that... Oh, yeah, Hosanna is not happy either now. These are all leopards that we know and that we don't want anything bad to happen to them. And now we've got a situation where they're embroiled in a tussle between all of them. And Tandi, she wants to assert herself in this area. That's her tail that you see wagging there. And then Hosanna directly behind the bush. Seb, do you want me to try to go forward a little bit for you? I'll try see if I can get forward so I can get all three of them at least somewhat visible for Seb without impaling myself on varying trees that we have here. How's that, Seb? Is that better? Yeah. Okay, we can at least see the tail end of Hosanna now, and then Tandi. So, there's Tandi, and there's Hosanna. And poor Hosanna looks completely bewildered by what's going on. He doesn't really know how to deal with this. The thing about him is that because of his size, that's what's keeping Tandi at bay. Tandi is seeing him and just kind of knows okay this is a bit of a bigger leopard this is not a leopard that i want to deal with too much and tangle with shungile on the other hand slightly smaller individual she's you know a lot more of a target for for tandi the problem for shungile now is she's going to have to play a waiting game she's going to have to sit up there and wait until tandi is finished although she looks like she might be coming down Seb. let's see Karen, you say I'm not the only one with rattled nerves. Well, I would imagine, I think there's many of you at home that have got just as much of a rattled nerve system as what I've got at the moment. And phew, like we need any more drama at the moment, and we've had more than enough over the last few months, but this is nature, this is how it goes, this is what happens, it's just, you know, this is, we, in some ways, it's, it's completely difficult to watch these things, and, and it's hard to watch when there's these kind of competitions but it is nature and it is the way things go and well sure we're privileged in a way to be able to get this insight into these cats lives remember this is a secretive cat that many people have never even seen that have been on safari that whew. so in a way we're privileged to witness this but i certainly just hope that this is the last of it and that's the last tussle that they have and in some way they get out of here and move it and separate Lisa, you say this could be a long night for all of them, and I, I, I tend to agree with you. I think this is not going to end anytime soon at this stage. As long as Shongila is up in that tree, it's going to be tough for her. She needed to get away and slink away once Tandi disappeared. That was her chance to get out of here. And especially when Hosanna and sort of Tandi were between her. The thing is, though, she was brave and she stood her ground because, precisely because she knew if she turned and ran, that Tandi would be on her in, two, in a flash. And that's why she made the way that she did and, and she did what she did. It was the perfect survival strategy in the way that she had to be and she had to transition from that cub to a animal that defends herself. But when she comes down, she's certainly gonna make a bit of noise and that noise is going to attract Tandi's attention again. She certainly will come and investigate what's going on. So as long as Tandi doesn't go up in there, we're going to be fine because unfortunately, Two leopards in a tree never ends well. It normally ends in a fight up there, and you don't want them fighting there because if one slips and falls, it's a long way up. So let's just hope that Shangila decides to find a place to rest. You can see she's trying to find somewhere where she can just lie down. It's not a good tree for a leopard to be in at the moment. Brenda, you're hoping that she sleeps up there? I think it would be nice if she could. The problem is the tree she's run up is horrific for a sleeping leopard. There's no nice branches for her just to sit on and to rest. You can see, look at how awkwardly she's standing at the moment. She's kind of got her legs pinned. She's trying to kind of 
find a comfortable place and shame and she's rubbing herself everywhere I think she's got dust all over her welcome to adulthood Shungili I'm afraid this is it's a tough life out here and if anybody thought that these animals had it easy tonight is a perfect display of just how hard it is for animals to survive in this environment just how hard it is for a predator to survive you think that the prey animals have it much easier I mean much harder but you can see now that this is really very difficult on all of them and it's a hard life for a young leopard sure. it had to happen at some point though it had to ha be a time where Shongile came across Tandi and there had to be this aggressive behavior at some point it was just a matter of time and the same thing is going to happen to Hosanna he's going to get involved in the same thing with Tingana or particularly or Vula or Kajima or any of these males that we mentioned earlier so his time is also coming where a male notices him particularly because he's getting bigger and broader and thicker so you know these leopards this is unfortunately the passage that they've got to go through to become adult territorial animals and it will never stop even when they're territorial as you can see Tandi is having to fight for herself too she's also got a couple cuts and bruises out of this and it's a difficult game that they play and it's a game that as many a leopard has found out is not easy there we go you just position yourself a little bit better so that you can rest your bums it's almost like she wants to just put her backside down for a few seconds and just rest you can also imagine that this intense energy she's just been through you can see she's breathing heavy um, you, there's a lot of energy that's just been exerted in fighting with each other and it certainly like I say would have been I would imagine Shungile's first ever altercation of that magnitude Whew. I'm just glad that Tandy didn't decide to go up there with her Everything on the Hosanna Tandi front is quiet and right down. They're just looking at each other. There's no more growling, no more. Even the tails have calmed down. So everything is a lot better now. There's no growling between those two, which is at least a good sign. Now I'm just scanning around to see if there's not anybody else that's arrived because, well, the story just couldn't get any more hectic at this stage. I think that's a word to describe this. I would imagine our one-word tweets have changed slightly from earlier. It's, my one-word tweet would be just hectic. I don't, don't even know what else to say about this. This has just been craziness. Shungile, be careful, my girl. Right, we're going to just take a breather for two seconds and let's go across to Taylor and see where she is. I think she's left Chitra Dam and is slowly meandering her way home. We are, we're on Weaver's Nest now. Very